As an analogy, think of DNA as a long row of bricks and of DNA replication as a brick layer walking backwards on top of a brick wall, laying a new layer on top of that row. When the end of the wall is reached, the brick layer finds himself standing on top of the bricks he's supposed to replicate. But since he can't put down a brick where his feet are, he steps back and falls off the wall, leaving the very end of the wall bare. As a result, the new copy of the wall is shorter. Just like this brick wall was copied imperfectly, our DNA is unable to copy itself perfectly. When a strand is replicated, the new strand is shorter than the old strand. Initially, we thought there wasn't anything we could do to affect the aging process. Now we know there are some things we can do, like some lifestyle changes, specifically decreasing toxins in our body, addressing obesity, and improving our nutrition, plus reducing physical, mental, and oxidative stress, which are all key to slowing down the aging process. But perhaps even more significant than this, scientific research has concluded that the next big step to maintaining a youthful body is to find strategies to actually lengthen our telomeres, essentially turning back our biological clock. Research we completed in 1997 established that humans also have an enzyme called telomerase that can lengthen telomeres. This research was so significant that in 2009, it was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Let me explain this research further. We know that there must be a way for our bodies to relengthen telomeres because our reproductive cells do not exhibit telomere shortening and show no signs of aging. The reason these cells are essentially immortal is because reproductive cells produce an enzyme called telomerase. Telomerase acts like an assembly line inside our cells that adds nucleotides to the ends of our chromosomes, thus lengthening our telomeres. In a cell that expresses telomerase, telomeres are lengthened as soon as they shorten. It's as though every time the telomere clock inside our cell ticks once, telomerase pushes the hands of the clock back one tick. Returning to the analogy of the bricklayer that can't lay the last brick on the brick wall, telomerase would be like an angel that flies in and puts the last brick in place. The 